This simulation football league Saturday drops us in Denver, where two teams with high expectations try to right the ship after coming up short in week one. Well, first third down opportunity of the day for the Revs from the 45. Utah, quick hitter this way. It's caught first down by Rego De Niro, who toes the line and gets out to the Denver 36. Another catch on third down for the rookie in just his second professional game. Needed nine, he gave them 14, and indeed a much needed first down. Now from the 36. Utah, another quick hitter. Two receivers were there, and John Michael Suddeth has another catch and another first down. Gain of 11. Three brand new linebackers and a total of six rookies on defense in the middle two thirds of the defense. Third down and four. Squarebush to the end zone. It's caught just short of the goal line. A diving catch made by Lyric Da Vinci. They run it again from the I formation. No, they will pass Utah for Squarebush. Easy does it. Touchdown, Louisiana. That's more like it for this Revs team that was a semi-finalist a season ago. They score on their first possession. Utah to Randy Squarebush. Yeah, it's not a run. Instead, it's a nice little swing pass out to the running back anyways. But he's still proven to be very, very capable back, especially in short order situations like that. Able to break a plethora of tackles to get that one yard. He goes again. Great running room for him here. O'Shaughnessy down the left seam. Away he goes. Breaks away from a tackle. He's still going. And they stop him a yard short. What a play by Slynn Shady and the Rev defense. Nothing is a given with Madeline Snyder, one of the few non-rostered kickers in the league. But as you say, should be a chip shot, and it is. She knocks it through officially from 19 yards. Denver has first and goal from the one, and they cannot punch it in. But the Nightwings do get on the board at 7-3. He almost had a catch last week as well, but... Caught it out of bounds. So he did have a catch, but not a reception. Second and 10, they run right tackle. Running room for Randy Squarebush out across midfield and a nice gain of 13. So far, so good here in week two. Second and six, left tackle for Squarebush. Shuffle steps, Randy Squarebush out across the 30 yard line and a gain of 16 now. Another first down. Impressive. On first and 20, they get 19 yards on two plays from Da Vinci. What can they do here on third down? They will run it with Squarebush, left tackle, first down. Squarebush blows through a man, breaks through another one, and scores! A wrecking ball run from Randy Squarebush. Welcome to the Squarebush Show. Yeah, Squarebush, some people will compare some running backs in this league to being shot out of a cannon. Uh, Squarebush is the cannon. He... <laughs> He's just able to just blow through everyone, just lowers a shoulder on not one, but two different defenders, and then runs through another in order to give Louisiana their second touchdown of the game and extend this lead. It is a gain of eight and the first catch of the day for Bryce Battle. Third and three. Maybe they go Quintero's way this time. Instead, Price throws it into the defense. Had a receiver open further down the field, but couldn't get to him. Slim Shady, the linebacker, has the takeaway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's been an all-star everywhere. Louisiana with the ball again. Cameron Collier has his first carry, and there's what these two guys can do. Remember, Hart's former team took the loss. Ooh, Utah somehow able to get that one off. Squarebush gets the first down somehow. Massive humanity right near where the ball was snapped, Aaron. It drew the eye, at least for me, but somehow Squarebush able to navigate it and get the first down. That, that's, that'll do it. That's exactly what you're looking for on first down. They'll run it again. Squarebush up the middle this time. First down and more. Gain of 12 for Randy Squarebush. These two running backs are putting on a show. Third and five. Quick drop, quick high throw. Da Vinci reaches up and hauls it down somehow. Looked like he was open, Aaron. Then he had to come back and make that catch, but make the catch he did. Louisiana moves the chains. Past the first down marker to bring up first and goal. I will throw it on first and goal. Running room for Squarebush. Easy does it. It's a hat trick in the first half for Randy Squarebush. Three total touchdowns as a rookie. He's got three total touchdowns in the first half today. Louisiana extends the lead. No coincidence if you ask me. Of course, their most recent touchdown coming off of the interception from Slynn Shady. O'Shaughnessy breaking through the first hit, and away he goes. Bailey O'Shaughnessy with a cavalcade behind him, but they won't catch him all the way to the end zone. O'Shaughnessy for six. Uh, another sign of life in this game uh, has decided, you know, Squarebush, you're good. I, I can respect that, but I can do it too. 
51 yards, got that one lead block from Bismarck Bizquick, and that was all she wrote. Uh, we'll have to see, though, if they can continue that in the second half since Louisiana does get the kickoff. Reb short of midfield here on third and seven. High throw from Utah, first down to Chase Earl, pushed out by Ron Hoff. And look at the quarterback rating for Utah, Aaron, north of 120. That is an impressive turnaround from the 42. They'll check it down again. This has helped Utah for sure. Squarebush, stiff arm, first down. Randy Squarebush, what a day it's been. Deserves that timeout as well, like Aaron said. From the 31 into traffic, Utah goes, and it's hauled in somehow by John Michael Suddeth. What an addition to the team he's been. Welcome to the SFL. Another first and goal. Utah will throw. Squarebush is open. Can they do it again? You better believe it. That's four for Randy Squarebush. Ramiro Morales had no chance. Louisiana strikes again. The Boo Birds ringing down against the Nightwings. This is a Revs team that is very similar to last year, with one notable exception that we'll talk about in a second. Second and three, they'll run it again. Another first down for O'Shaughnessy. The line keeps moving. Uh, Luther's a, a great, great guy to have in the locker room. We're very glad to have him. Absolutely, a great pickup for you guys, no question about it, on and off the field. There's a throw from Price. First of those that we've seen in a while. You saw his passer rating was very low, but that's because he's only attempted now 11 passes, and that is the second catch for Logan Keel, who had one of the best games that any wide receiver in the SFL had earlier this week at the convention. First down from the 28. Price will throw again. Over the middle, tipped into the air, still loose, and... Is it caught? Did he yes, get it? Yes, he did. Unbelievable. It's Keel. Keel hauls it in. First down. A uh, uh, bit of a bit of a tip drill there between Denver and Louisiana. That one, uh, the pass intended for the fullback, Ari Mills. Unfortunately, Mills uh, not able to get his back turned in order to get his hands on the ball, but some heads-up awareness by Logan Keel. What do they do here on second and goal from the three? Five on the line for the Rebs. They will run it. O'Shaughnessy wide open up the middle. Touchdown. That was his drive before Keel took it over, and O'Shaughnessy scores for the second time. Kendler has been the answer for Squarebush. Blake B. Craze has been the answer for O'Shaughnessy, at least in the second half. Third and 11 from midfield. Price bombs it, and it's caught. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Logan Keel rips it away from Rolliman Hood. Inside the 30 they go, a gain of 22. I... I swear these quarterbacks are gonna give me a heart attack. That's that's <laughs> that's like the second or third time that we've had a ball go through the hands of a defender into the waiting right. receiver's arms. Both of those two players are just now set. Mini hurry up here for Denver. 440 left in the fourth. Price bombs it and a step behind the defense. Battle stations. Bryce battle with a touchdown and Denver is right back in it. I I think going for two is the right call that would put him down a field goal would give them the opportunity to not really have to consider going for an onside kick. Agreed. They will throw it. O'Shaughnessy's wide open. That's money. Easy does it for O'Shaughnessy. He's across the goal line yet again. His first down here is pivotal for both teams. Four minutes left. Louisiana wisely taking its time. They'll snap it with seven. Utah's going to throw it, and it's picked off. Nick Kindler has had a killer game, and he gets rewarded. No kidding. This Denver defense has started to rev it up against the Revolution, and now they've got the ball across midfield. They could take the lead here. Price spins around, finds Bryce Battle, and somehow gets the first down. It's Price to Bryce once again. Denver will spread it out. One tight end and four wides on third and seven. Bryce sets, throws over the middle. Bryce Battle has another catch. It has been all Bryce Battle here in the fourth quarter. Denver could take the lead here if they score a touchdown. Price zips it to the sideline, and it's caught. Logan Keel strikes again. Uh, but Denver, of course, especially in the second half, has been locked down. Play action for Randy Squarebush. Utah floats it, tipped, and intercepted again. Another pick for Nick Kindler. And now south of two minutes, Denver has the ball once again. 40 seconds left. Third down again. Utah lofts it up, has a man wide open. Da Vinci with a step behind the defender. Kindler goes no. down, and then he's brought down inside the 20. 
You're right, field goal out of the question because of that two-point conversion earlier. From the 18 with 18 seconds left. Utah has time, throws it into traffic and throws another interception. The third interception of the second half. Welcome to the SFL. The rookie linebacker Rob Foraker has his first career interception. That's going to seal it for Denver.